The order for daily evening prayer is found beginning on page 21 of the Book of Common Prayer. Watch, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have heard and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent. According to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise be the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The portion of the Psalter appointed for the evening of the thirteenth day begins with Psalm 69, found on page 421 of the Book of Common Prayer. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming, even unto my soul. I stick fast in the deep mire where no ground is. I am come into deep waters, so that the floods run over me. I am weary of crying. My throat is dry, my sight faileth me for waiting so long upon my God. They that beat me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that are my enemies and would destroy me guiltless are mighty. I paid them the things that I never took. God, thou knowest my sinfulness, and my faults are not hid from thee. Let not them that trust in thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my cause. Let not those that seek thee be confounded through me, O Lord God of Israel. And why? For thy sake have I suffered reproof. Shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, even an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath even eaten me, and the rebukes of them that rebuke thee are fallen upon me. I wept and chastened myself with fasting, and that was turned to my reproof. I put on sackcloth also, and they jested upon me. They that sit in the gate speak against me, and the drunkards make songs upon me. But, Lord, I make my prayer unto thee, in an acceptable time. Hear me, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, even in the truth of thy salvation. Take me out of the mire that I sink not. O let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. 
Let not the water flood drown me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is comfortable. Turn thee unto me according to the multitude of thy mercies, and hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. O haste thee, and hear me. Draw nigh unto my soul, and save it. O deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou hast known my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all in thy sight. Reproach hath broken my heart. I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to have pity on me, but there was no man, neither found I any to comfort me. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table be made a snare to take themselves with all. And let the things that should have been for their wealth be unto them an occasion of falling. Let their eyes be blinded that they see not, and ever bow thou down their backs. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful displeasure take hold of them. Let their habitation be void, and no man to dwell in their tents. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk how they may vex them whom thou hast wounded. Let them fall from one wickedness to another, and not come into thy righteousness. Let them be wiped out of the book of the living, and not be written among the righteous. As for me, when I am poor and in heaviness, thy help, O God, shall lift me up. I will praise the name of God with a song, and magnify it with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord, better than a bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall consider this, and be glad. Seek ye after God, and your soul shall live. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the sea and all that liveth therein. For God will save Zion, and build the cities of Judah that men may dwell there, and have it in possession. The posterity also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Haste thee, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that wish me evil. Let them for their reward be soon brought to shame, that cry over me, there, there. But let all those that seek thee be joyful and glad in thee, and let all such as delight in thy salvation say always, the Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and in misery. Haste thee unto me, O God. Thou art my helper and my redeemer. O Lord, make no long tarry. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Here we have the 28th chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters, overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden under feet. And the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be a fading flower. 
and as great hasty fruit before the summer, which, when he that looketh upon it, seeth while it is yet in his hand, he eateth it up. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory, and for a diadem of beauty, unto the residue of his people, and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment, and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. But they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink, they are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshment, yet they would not hear. But the word of the Lord was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward, and be broken, and snared, and taken. Be ready for the first lesson. <coughs> the Magnificat. My soul
Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrary wise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For ye that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you? if ye be followers of that which is good. But, and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Having a good conscience, that, whereas they speak evil of you, as of evil doers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while well, the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us not by putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, <coughs> arm yourself likewise to the same mind, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in the lusts, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of right, speaking evil of you. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the Spirit. They read the second lesson. The new commits. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be our
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last one. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, make clean our heart within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. God for the second Sunday in Advent. Blessed Lord, who has caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant that we may in such wise hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of thy holy word we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which thou hast given us in our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. God of the first Sunday in Advent. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness, and put upon us the honor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life of all. Through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. God for peace on page 31. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works do proceed. Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A general thanksgiving on page 33. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thy unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thy inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all and more.